everybody and welcome to another episode of Niger Queen B TV. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. So for today's episode, I will be talking about the things guys do that annoy us females. We know guys say things and do things and it just gets really annoying. So I'm here to talk about it. Well, I'm very excited because I have a special guest that will be joining me today to talk about this list that I made. Guess who we have here? Hi everybody, my name is Aisha and I'm here to discuss this interesting topic with my Jackie. So I made a list of things that guys do and say that I don't appreciate or I don't know why you guys do it. I don't know why you guys say it. So my number one is why if a female sends you a text message, like a, a whole essay, right? With a thesis statement, <laughs> with a par like three paragraphs, with a conclusion, with like an ending statement with headers and you know footers and things like that right explaining the things that you did wrong the things she maybe thinks you need to change and all that good stuff and then you text back and say what are you talking about what do you mean are you crazy are you dumb what do you mean what do i mean do you see everything i wrote to you like that pisses me off like why do you guys do that I don't get it. Like, it's so annoying. I don't know. Does Did that ever happen to you? Yes. It happens all the time. Like, like why? Th there it is. A long text message and you're still lost. Why are you lost? I took my time <laughs> to write this to you. I care. That's why I wrote this essay. That's why I wrote this whole long text message to you. And you're telling me, what do you mean? Well, what are you talking about? Like, really? Come on. So I don't yeah. know why you guys do that. Y'all need to stop that, like for real. Yeah, like, stop it. It's not funny. It's really annoying. And our next topic is, why do guys take forever to text back? We know you always have your phone. You're always texting when we're with you. You're on your phone. But when we text you, you either read the message and then keep on doing what you're doing. Yes. Or you just act like you didn't get it. But clearly, I can see that you read my message. Yeah, on WhatsApp, it tells you when somebody oh, reads yeah. your message. So oh, you're yeah. not slick. Mm -hmm. Don't take five hours to text us back. <laughs> I Please. can see when the message is delivered, and I can see when you read the message, and I can see when you're online. So why would you even bother to act like you didn't see my text? That's a big pet peeve of mine. And I think it happens all the time. It does. And guys, you need to understand that we are like CIA, FBI. <laughs> we know when you log into certain mm -hmm. social networks. We might, we might act like we don't know, but we know. So you need to be oh, yeah. be honest. Like, we know you read it. We know you've been online. So why are you taking forever to text me back? Oh, yeah. And another thing, too, with Instagram, mm. we might not be able to see when you're online, but we can see when you like other people's pictures. Like, yeah, that then. just shows that you're on your phone. So you should reply my text when I text you. Word. <laughs> okay, another one I don't like is, why do you feel the need to compare us, one of, like, a female to your exes? Like, why are you comparing me to your ex? Like, we are in a relationship or we're dating. Leave your past in your past. Don't think, oh, because she did you wrong, I'm going to be the same. Or you don't trust females because some other female did you wrong. Please, I'm not your ex. You need to get over it and just focus on your current situation. All right? And just know that that's very disrespectful. So if you don't know now, you now should. Now you know. Now you know. For real, it's disrespectful. Focus on your current relationship and stop comparing me to your ex. But why do guys do this, right? You don't really like making plans or planning anything. So the female takes it upon herself to make plans for you guys to do exciting stuff. And then you have the nerve to be like, oh, um, maybe I think I should invite my friends. We should make it a group thing. Really? If I wanted to hang out with your friends or my friends, don't you think I would have said, oh, let's have a group activity? It's, I just want to spend quality time with you, just me and you. Uno and uno. Why do you gotta <laughs> add everybody else? Like, oh, let's make it a group thing. And of course, I'm not gonna tell you, oh, it's okay. Can we just do... No, I'm not gonna do that because you already suggested to invite our friends along. So, I don't know why you guys do that. If you don't wanna... Why do you have a girl or you're dating somebody and you find it really hard to spend time with them alone? Like, why? Yeah, that, to me, that's shade. <laughs> like, you don't think we could go out together alone? Like, you have to bring your friends Am I that boring? No. Stop it. Stop. Okay. <laughs> this is a big one. Like, I'm sure every female that wears makeup has this problem. And it's when guys say, why do you have to wear so much makeup? Why do you wear makeup at all? You look beautiful without makeup. Okay. First of all, people wear makeup 
to enhance their beauty, not to change the way they look. So it's really offensive if a guy tells a female that, oh, why are you make why are you wearing makeup? You don't need that. That's too much. Like, take some of that off. You want to look like a clown? Like, that's so, that's so rude. Like, can we just and go like, out without you wearing makeup? Really? No, like, it's, it's by choice. Like, that I can do that if I want to do that. You don't have to dictate if I wear makeup or if I don't wear makeup. So... Get used to it. Get get with the program. When you met me, I had makeup on. Exactly. When you go to clubs, when you go outside and you're checking out those other chicks, they have makeup on. So I don't understand what the problem is. Mm-hmm. Stop it. It's annoying. Okay? And makeup is art. We are painting. <laughs> All right? Painting. Beat for the gods. Beat okay? for the gods. Get used to it. You can even do my makeup. Like, it's not a problem. Yeah. I can teach you how to do my mm-hmm. eyebrows, to put on foundation. Lipstick is very easy. Guys do it all the time. Let's make it a teamwork. You know? Teamwork makes their dream work. Let's do this. <laughs> Come on, stop it. And yes. also, oh, another one that I don't like is why do you complain if I have too many clothes, too many shoes? You should be happy. Are you trying to date a bum? Do you want me to look crazy? You want like, me to repeat outfits? Yes, come Sorry. on. Like, you should be happy I have so many options. I'm trying to look fly. You'll look fly. Let's do this together. Let's match each other's fly. Yes. Stop telling me I have swag. too many clothes, too many shoes. Did mm-hmm. I ask you to buy me clothes or shoes? No. Be happy that I like to dress up. I like to look nice. Please and stop first it. of all, you can't even have too many clothes and shoes. Like, that's impossible. Okay. Exactly. So. Stop. Stop it. If, unless you're going to stop buying clothes and shoes. Come on. I'm not going to We could be bumps together. If that's what you really want. You know? <laughs> I have a very um, disturbing question. Why do some of you guys say you are scared of commitment? You don't, you just want to, you don't want to commit. After we've dated for like a year, a couple of months, don't you think I deserve better? And then when I come up with like, oh, so what are we? What are we trying to do here? Oh, can you just stop with the questions? Um, can you just go with the flow? Don't you like where things are? Where are things? I don't know. <laughs> right. Can we just keep things the way it is? How? Like, what? It, what is this? What do we keep it? Like, I don't even understand sometimes. Like, what? What? What flow are we going with? If you are not ready to be committed to somebody. Don't waste their time. Okay? Because we females tend to fall in love faster than guys. I think so. You need to respect our feelings. You can't be spending. 100% of your time with me, hanging out with me, doing things with me, and do you expect me not to catch feelings or right. feel away or ask you questions? Or want to be friends. Like, right. You know, Let's be friends. Me. Let's not ruin things. <laughs> doing that, we are ruining. Like, I don't get it. Let's not ruin things. Hmm. And just also yeah. know that I'm not about to wait around forever. No. Okay? There's plenty of fishes in the sea. <laughs> okay? So I will move on. And I'm to ready to one. fish. <laughs> What's up? Where's Get the next your river? Right. Get your For real. Right, and sometimes they say you don't know what you have till it's gone. So you might want to yeah. sit back and think about what you have before you lose it. All this going with the flow is for the birds. You're not a child. Grow up. <laughs> yeah. So that's very annoying when you tell a female that. You need to go with the flow. You're not ready for commitment. But you want to keep doing things that people that are committed to each other are doing. What's the point? Hmm. What is the point? Selfish. Here's another one that's really annoying and really grinds my gears. It's when you take your girl out with you to like a family event, a party, a social gathering, and you just disappear and just leave her by herself. Like, why did you bring me with you if you know that you're going to go hang out with your boys or you're going to go and talk to somebody else or do whatever you need to include me in your activity because i hello i came here with you so y'all need to fix that maybe okay? maybe he thought he brought a female security i don't know <laughs> did you need did you need security to watch your back while you did your thing at a party like why do you do that i might as well have brought my friends with me like why did you have me come to a party with you and then you leave me in the corner for like hours and then the only next time I see you is maybe you're coming to check up on me or we're leaving the party. Not nice. Stop it. Please. Like, it's it's really frustrating because here I am sitting here texting like, <laughs> oh, um, hmm, who am I talking to? Right. Let me look texting, for somebody else okay? to talk to on my phone. Sitting on Instagram, texting people that I don't even talk to <laughs> because Shut I don't want to just be staring at the wall, like, you know? Yeah. So. Y'all stop doing that. It's okay. very annoying. It's rude. Stop it. So guys, you need to get it together. There's so much a female can take before they give up and just move on. I'm not saying all guys are like this, but most of you guys are. So stop it. Communication is key. If you cannot communicate with the female you're dealing with, 
or with your girlfriend, then you have a problem. So I know I probably hit some nerve. <laughs> and some of you guys are watching this vlog and saying, what is she talking about? That's not true. This is why I do this. Well, if you want to represent the association of annoying guys, you can always email me at nijaqueenb at gmail.com. And you could come defend them. Maybe you can share some insight of why you guys do certain things, why you guys say certain things, and maybe I can understand it better. So if you're interested in defending them, hit me up. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. And I want to say thank you so much, Faisha, for being a, being a part of this vlog. Oh yeah, don't forget to leave your comments. Leave your comments. Know. If I missed anything, think. ladies, about something you've experienced, definitely let me know. Any topics you want me to talk about, let me know. Leave your comments, send me an email, you know, whatever. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter. Oh, yeah. Follow me on the gram yes. too. My Instagram is Aisha, A-I-S-H-A-X dot O. Yes. And I'll follow back. Follow Aisha. <laughs> She's very pretty, right? Thank you guys for watching another episode of Nigel Queen B TV. I will see you guys next time. Peace and love. <laughs>